All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to Marketing Mondays. This is uh, Rhonda Swan. <laughs> That's me. Uh, and welcome to my call. I actually have been doing this call now for, golly, over a year. Every Monday, pure content call, no pitch, no hype, pure value. Because as uh, we all know, or you should know, and at least you'll learn from that tonight, if we are delivering pure value, then you will create a customer for life, a following for life. You'll build an amazing list and uh, you'll really start seeing the fruit of all of your work, right? Of your labor coming through in your business. So I am um, all about giving value. And uh, this is such a super fun call for me because I get to have people from all over the industry come and, and share what, uh, you know, what's going on with them. And I get to share some of the knowledge that I've created, or at least, uh, at least I've absorbed in the last uh, eight and a half years. And uh, I do my best to keep everything always up to date and something new, new and fresh as often as I can. I love to bring on guests as much as I can also. And so we use this platform for a lot of different things, but uh, tonight's going to be a great call. So tonight, guys, we're going to have a lot of fun because um, I'm going to talk tonight about video. Okay. Now, all of you guys, um, actually, let me ask, how many of you guys have ever seen me do at least minimum one video? I know these hands up gets a little tedious, but you know, at least one video you've seen of mine. Yeah. Okay every single person, right? Well, there's a reason why I use video and there's a reason why you should be using video. And so tonight I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys video content structuring. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you. And um, then we're also gonna share with you a little secret um, that we started to use that many of you guys may know this secret code on Facebook or you may not know the secret code, but I'm gonna share with you guys uh, a bit about Facebook events, how to uh, invite your whole list without having to click, 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 click all the way down. And uh, I didn't know anything about that. You guys may already know it. I didn't know uh, much about that. I just recently learned. And man, has it made my life very easy. And it also has uh, generated some pretty nice revenue with just one event generated um, over $4,000 for us. So that's kind of nice. It makes it nice because someone went, whoa, I saw that event. I've seen all the other stuff that you do, but I saw that one event and I went and sure enough, here you go. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to give you guys instructions how to use that secret code. Um, but at any rate, guys, welcome. Welcome. It's so great to have everyone here. There is people piling up uh, right now as we speak, which is awesome. I love that. I love having lots of energy and people to uh, interact with. So what I'm going to do tonight, guys, is for those of you guys that have worked with me before, worked in my workshop, I love keeping it interactive, okay? All of you right now are muted, right? You guys are muted because, of course, there's a ton of you on the line, but I will open it up. Um, please feel free to um, throw out some questions if you have them uh, under the question bar. I will um, grab those as we're going through the call tonight. But I will open it up tonight for Q&A because uh, nothing like getting your questions answers right on the spot, right? And so this is this call is for all companies. There's no company I'm talking about tonight. It's just, it's for all marketing. And um, we're gonna have fun because I like to have fun. <laughs> I don't do anything anymore unless I'm having fun. So that's a good new policy. You guys should take on that new policy is unless you enjoy what you're doing, don't do it. Same goes for marketing. Now, I talk quite a bit about video marketing. And that's what we're going to discuss tonight. And there's certainly a reason why we use video. And if you guys are all using video now, great. You should be. If you're not, you will be after tonight's call because I'm going to break down exactly the structure that you need to have in all of your videos and make it really simple. Because what I um, hear quite frequently is, oh, I'm so nervous through the video. Well, they finally get over the nervousness of doing a video. And then they go, I don't know what to say. <laughs> So I realized that there's a way that we can break down and structure our videos so that we are free flowing. We know exactly what to hit while we're shooting our video. And you're really confident because video comes from confidence. And that's why I work with students in my branding workshop. I have them start doing videos from day one because the more you do your video, the more confident you're going to be. And so let's address that. Uh, let me see. How many of you guys right now are using video in your marketing? How many of you guys are at least tested, tried? Okay, most. 
Not as many as I'd like to see. So that's good. That's You're a good candidate for being on this call tonight. All right. So I will get to the point because I'm all about getting to the point. I'm not about fluff. I'm about getting her done. So that's what I'm going to do is we're going to get it done tonight. All right. Now, um, okay. So I will be checking again for questions. So uh, good. Okay. So just a little. Some people are testing it. Awesome. Okay. All right. Can I make sure you guys can hear me? Some people are saying they can't hear me. My video's choppy. I know sometimes that happens. Uh, it's probably going to come off. I might be uh, jumping in and out a little bit. It does happen. It slows down uh, when we have webinars. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I know. It's a little bit of delay. So don't always expect that you're going to hear me <laughs> uh, or that you're going to see my voice moving as quickly as my uh, as my uh, or my face moving as quickly as my voice because there is a delay at times when these with these streaming videos. So all right, let's get rocking. Okay, so there is truly a reason, guys, behind why we use video, and it's the power. Of their, uh, the power of video is greater than any marketing that you can actually do. All right, and for those of you that are using video, I'm sure that you guys can feel it, hear it. Okay, good. Some of you guys are saying it's good. Some okay, great, excellent. Yeah, it's just the way the internet rolls. Okay, thanks, guys, for the feedback. Um, okay, so when it comes to, and I'll pop it in and out because I don't ever like talking to my screen. I like for you guys to get some interaction. Um, but certainly, the power of video goes goes so far because what happens, guys, is when we are in the industry, right, which most all of us, right, are internet marketers, um, you should be if you're not, great. I, have, I, work, I do work with people that are not internet marketers, but mostly it's internet marketers because we're putting a video up, right, to be online, to connect. The power of video stands so much stronger than any image or any picture that you could actually post, talk about, blog post, even it's, it's just as good as a phone call, right? So when I started to do video, I was, um, I had just came out of the face-to-face -face sales industry. And what I was looking to achieve when I started on internet marketing was how am I going to connect with my audience just like I do if I was in front of them? And so what I realized is we can always be on the cutting edge and always be on the edge if we're always thinking a step ahead. So for me, you know, closing business or communicating with my customers was vital because they, they knew me, right? They can see my eyes. You guys can look at me. Ah, you can see how crazy I am. You can see my facial expressions. You can see how excited I am, right? And my voice, it may carry in my voice, but you can see people's emotions. And when we're in now this internet world, Think about the millions of people that are on the internet, millions, right? And they're all over the place slinging stuff all over. So how do we stand out in the crowd? Well, number one for me is always branding myself, but I brand myself through video. And so what happens is now someone, it's transparent. They can, they can see you. They begin to trust you, which I like to always uh, call, and I've actually learned this no like, and trust from a great friend named Robert Hollis. He's an amazing marketer in this industry. He's a veteran for years. And he always, he, he always talked about the no like, and trust factor. When we can create no like, and trust, right? What happens? Well, they know like, and they trust us. But even more so, you get to create and, and deliver a message just as if you were in front of them. And you're not reading words. Because I, um, I do a lot of reading on uh, copywriting and impact and, and what people actually read. And there's a way that if you guys have seen on my fan page or my Facebook page, I do story posts. So I'm going to talk a bit about the story posts and videos. But what we do is when we write our story posts is we have to space them out. And there's a reason why. Because most people do not read everything that you write. I know that we wish that they would, but they don't. So they read about 20% of all copy. That's included in all newspapers, Facebook posts, blog posts, whatever it is that you actually are delivering. Most people, about 80% of people around the world will only read 20% of the words. How many of you guys agree with that? Does anyone agree or disagree? Or you? Yeah. Okay, because I do it. I know I love video, right? I love video because I also know that I get my point across. So this is why we do it. So and when it comes to, let's say, a blog post, we always want to also give, of, of course, content and text and blogging is a powerful way to market your business. In fact, I call my blog my home. I let my blog do all my work. 
it's called my home. So I, I create my videos, I bring them to my blog and allow my blog to do a lot of the work. But what we also do in our blog posts, I do mainly video blogs, video blog posts. I do all my content in my video and then I structure my blog post typically with the topics that I talked about in my video because more people are going to listen to that video, scan down in the blog post, and they're going to get more message. So you give them a double, double, right? They get a double hit. But okay, so let's get, I'm going to get deeper into exactly how to structure your content and what to put in it and um, really how to uh, make it more impactful. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's rock and roll. All right. So we know that it creates no like, and trust and it relates to our audience. Okay. Which of course creates transparency uh, and they know exactly who you are. So tonight, what I'm going to go through guys is this structure right here. It looks extremely simple and it is, but I'm gonna give you some good examples as to how to really make it impactful for your business and how to really generate more people wanting to, uh, to talk with you. Oh, whoops, there we go. Okay. So we're going to go through the content structure. This is how every single video, every video you have ever, ever done has to have these three key elements. Okay. Every one of them. Now I'm going to break it down a bit into the different types of videos that you're going to use, the lengths that they're going to be, the call to actions are a little bit different depending on what type of video you're offering or what type of video you are, uh, are shooting. But every one of your videos should have a hook, the body and a call to action. Okay. Make sure you know that. So every single time I am creating a video, I am always, boom, here's my hook. I give my content. And then my call to actions at the end. Okay. So if you ever watch my videos, you'll, you'll be able to follow it and you'll be able to start relating to it. Now, many people that have been in the industry for a long time, forget a lot of these pieces and some that are brand new, get it right away. I've got some amazing people, Jerry Maurer. I love Jerry. He's just powerful in his video and he nails it every time. And I watch people's videos and I notice, wow, you really lost. You left a lot on the table right there because people want to know what's next. They want to be told where to go. They want to be told what to do and how they, their, their mind psychologically wants to follow a pace. And if you'll notice, there's, you know, obviously great marketers out there. You know, Vincent Ortega is a great, you know, friend and partner of mine. He's does tons of video and you'll notice how he does it. He brands himself every time he says his name every single time, right? It's that's his start off and his hook. And I'm going to show you some other ways to hook. But I always, in my hook, if you'll notice, most of my hooks are always, hey, this is Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. That, that's my normal hook, right? Now, there's definitely some other great hooks I'm going to share with you right now because your hook, guys, is your most valuable piece of your video. I'm sure, does anyone know why? Yeah, exactly. Your hook keeps them there. Your hook grabs them there. And we need, you have to have a hook every time. So your, your hook is at max first 10 seconds, first 10 seconds of your video. And really guys, it should be the first three. I should have actually have written literally the first three to 10 seconds because you will grab someone right away. If right, your energy's energy is big and you're enthusiastic. Clearly I am not asking anyone to have as much nut, nutty energy as I have. I am just a uh, you know crazy person, which I love it. That's who I am. <laughs> so I always have my like, hey, look at me. Of course, my husband, Brian, does not have, hey, look at me, right? But he has his own vibe, right? His vibe and his energy is super powerful. So you're, you have to have strong energy in your opener. Now, let's talk about great hooks. The reason why the hook is in the first three to 10 seconds is this. First off, a lot of it has to do with, it can be your background, right? They also have an even, you know, so there's your visual. You can be your background. It can be what you're doing. And I'm going to talk at the end of this, uh, this set about action videos, but your first three to 10 seconds are your most vital. So this is another form of a hook. Typically in your opener, if you are being branded and you are a very strong branding um, marketer, which you should be, every person should have a very strong brand, you will have an opener or closer signature, which I like to call. I always open my videos with, hey, this is Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. I always close my videos with, be unstoppable, right? So those are my, my opening and my closing hooks that I always say, or a signature, so to speak, that I always use that's branded. Now, there's, def there's, there's different ways for you to create a hook. 
and this is one of my other favorites that I will use. I'll either use both and say, hey, this is Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. And then what I do is I ask a question, okay? So this is why we ask questions. We ask questions because we want to create that visual in their mind. So for instance, this actually happened Today, I was having a conversation, I don't know if he's on the line, with Bill, uh, a student from my workshop, and, okay, no problem. Yep, no more, I'll, I'll, we'll definitely have a recording, great, okay, great. Okay, so um, I'm talking to Bill, and Bill says, you know, I'm really having a hard time with, you know, what content to put in, and I'm going to talk about content, but I said, okay, this is a couple of things that you need to do. You create your visual, so in your initial hook, guys, you're talking to your direct customer, okay? So what you always wanna look at is when you're structuring your video, who am I talking to, okay? And you talk directly to them. So what we do is you open your video with a question and you create a visual in their mind. So for Bill today, he was just leaving actually a memorial, but he said, gosh, I've got some amazing stuff that I wanna share with some people about this man. He was actually at a memorial service, he was leaving, he goes, but I learned so much from this man, I have so much that I could share. And I said, ah, oh, amazing, that's exactly what you should do because there's great content in so many different experiences in our life. So what I recommended to Bill to do this is, Hey, it's Bill, you know, how, or I forget he's, he's changing it. So work with Bill. Hey, it's work with Bill. Have you ever gone to a memorial service and um, really got inspired by the person that you were um, paying respects to, right? So every person has done that, right? Every person has probably experienced death one time or another because it's part of life. But what it does, it immediately creates the hook because most people have gone to memorial service and have been inspired by someone. Right. And then Bill's going to get into his copy or his his uh, his the body of his video. But right now, let's talk about how that hook works. Right. So or we could do I, I recently did a series of videos and my hook was, hey, this is Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. Ladies, have you ever followed or watched Danny Johnson, Allie Brown, Lisa Sasevich? Right. Women that are empowering. See, that was a powerful hook. So right now what I was doing is I was talking to women. Right. Or let's say you're in a uh, another industry. Um, are you are you, have you ever are you looking to drop a couple pounds before the uh, the holiday season? See, when you create a question and you create a visual in someone's mind, they want to stay. So every one of your videos should be talking to one person. Every time I shoot a video, I always think of who am I directing this video to? Whenever I do training videos, for instance, I will think about that new person that I am talking to or that new marketer that needs, that has that one problem that I could solve for them, right? So let's say you, your brand or this video that you're doing is about marketing and teaching people how to market, right? So you say, hey, you want to find out how to get more leads, right? These are solutions, the questions to solutions that people are looking for. So your hook is powerful and it needs to be powerful. What I recommend that every person do, especially if you're not doing video a ton, is to, before your videos, is always plan them out, right? Plan out your hook and write out your question, right? Write out the question that you're going to ask them. And then ask yourself, is this something that would make people want to stay or make people want to watch more of my video? Because if it's boring, guess what? You just answered your own question. <laughs> and I've done plenty of boring videos, right? So your hook is powerful, okay? We all good on the hook? If you guys have any questions about the hook, I know it's simple, yet many people forget this main piece. And they go, hey, let me, I wanna talk to you today about this. Eh, boring. Who not, everyone wants to talk to me today about this. Create something that makes you stand out so big, it makes them go, I wanna see that. I wanna know what they're talking about, okay? All right, the hook. Okay, let's move on. Body. Okay, now, the body of your video. This, well, you have to stick to these rules. Now, there are exceptions to some rules, but especially when you are brand new or brand old, what well, doesn't matter, you have to stick to certain rules because there are, um, I, I've done some research on YouTube and any video that is over two to three minutes 
Typically, you have about an 80% watch rate all the way through, about 83% of a watch rate on your video if they're under three minutes. It actually goes uh, 83% is under two minutes. Then it beefs it up a little bit. If you hit the three minute part, it, it uh, goes down a little bit if you hit the three minute mark. And then after a video is at five minutes, the, the watch rate typically will go down to about 40 some percent, anywhere into 30s into 40% of watch rate. Now, it, there are exceptions, right? Some people have amazing hooks, right? And they want to keep people engaged. But as a rule, guys, if you want to keep your videos under the five minute mark, three to five minutes if you're doing a story video where you're introducing yourself and you are talking directly to the screen. See, you, the exceptions come from videos that are edited, right? Videos that pop up pictures, videos that, that have more, um, they call it B-roll in video where you're doing something and they're, they're intertwining it. But as a rule, when you're first starting out, you want to make sure that your videos are under five minutes. So, so let's let let's go through the rule here in the body, and we'll talk about what it does. So, for anyone that um, has a blog, right? Every person should have a story video on their blog. Doesn't have to be professional. Certainly, I have. Um, you know, major prof uh, professional video done. I know Vincent does. A lot of our VIPs that we just worked with does. But not everyone has to. Not everyone's going to have it. But you have to have something on your on your um, on your blog that connects with someone right away. Okay, so here's ours right here. This is my story video. Now, if you watch my story video, it's actually quite long. It's 11 minutes long. But because it's engaged and because it's a professional shot video, more people are going to watch it. Now, if you are just shooting a video about your story, that's going to be like you right here, right? We always want to make sure, guys, that your whoops, sorry, goes uh, is that your that your you're you're really engaging. Okay, right now this you're engaged to me because you're watching and I'm sitting in my living room. It's not so fun though. It's a little boring. So I'm gonna show talk with you about how some stuff that you can do to make your videos more beefy in the beginning if you don't have a professional camera guy following you all around all the time. But your story video guys needs to relate to them. Okay, so let's go through what the components are of your story video. Now I work with a lot of people and they they go through their story videos and they just tell it all. Right, they're like everything in the beginning. You want to lay it all on the line. You just need to get it out, say it out, talk it out from when you're a baby to all the times when you got started network marketing, right? Or whatever you're starting in, because you got to listen to it yourself. So what I always have everyone do is just, okay, here I am. This is where I started from school and this is what I went through. And then you watch your own video. If you're boring yourself, well, chances are that those are the parts that are probably shouldn't be involved. But guys, there's still really important parts that, that may impact people. So what you do is you get your full story video out, and then we start whittling it down. I call it taking circles into your video. So you'll take your video, and you make a timeline, and you're like, ooh, that was a good point. Okay, you circled. That was a good one. Not so good. Right? And then you start rating the high and low points that might be important to fit into your story video for the next time. So then you might do it again, only talking about maybe a big impact that you had in your life that was that was um, relatable to maybe your, your customer base. And then maybe these parts weren't so important, but then, man, this one was important. So then you do it again. You listen to it again and you start whittling it down to you have the most important pieces in your story video. But this is what the story video is all about, guys. It has to relate Okay. You've got to be talking to your customer. Now, if you've seen my video or others that have video, Vincent's got a video uh, that's professionally done. Um, I'm trying to think of who else has some really good videos that I've seen. Not as many marketers do have them. They should though. I know that Matt and Christine, yours is almost done. I'm so excited to see Matt and Christine's video because they just got their shot as well. But my point is you want to be relatable. Okay. And you have to show some vulnerability. This is the deal. Guys, if you're perfect all the time, People just don't think that you are so relatable, right? If so, if you're not showing a little bit of vulnerability in your videos, then it's like you have a golden spoon in your hand all the time, right? So when you're doing a story video, people relate. Unfortunately, people like to look at car crashes. They like to know bad things happen to you, but they want to know that you're real. So when you're doing your video, you want to make sure that you're talking your story and you're giving a bit of vulnerability. Now, you're also 
as you're telling your story video, see some people like let it roll and it rolls and it rolls and it never gets to a conclusion where they, they can solve a problem for you. See, if you're talking your story video and you're just sharing you, that's nice. People like to know who, they, who, who you are, but you want to also be solving a problem, right? So for us, our story video relates to us solving the problem for our life, which was wanting to not have my child in daycare, right? Um, wanting to live financially free, wanting to be free, quit my job. I was start, I was building up to solving a problem. Okay. Now at the end of my story video, we solved that problem and look, what we found, we found this amazing, you know, way to live like this. So you always want to know you've got to be solving problems in every video that you do, including your story video. Okay. Now a second types of videos other than your story video is going to be your marketing videos. Okay. I like to really call them maybe a marketing series. I'm really huge on, um, you guys doing marketing video series, uh, videos. And I'll, I'll talk a bit about the video series in a minute because a video series is a powerful way to people to start connecting and trusting you. Right. So that no like, and trust we talked about earlier, why people will watch my 11 minute video is because they have seen me so many times. <laughs> Most of them know me and they know when I do videos, I'm pretty spot on. I want to make sure I'm delivering some value. So they watch longer videos of mine. So as you're continuing more no like and trust, you're creating more no like and trust, then people will start watching more of it. But your marketing videos, guys, here now we're moving into the marketing video rule. A quick messaged marketing video really should be under two minutes. Okay. Remember that 83% watch view rate on uh, YouTube, you will have a much higher rate. If someone sees the videos like three, four minutes long, like, I don't have time for that. I'll go back to it. So you lose them right away. But if you even have a one minute or two minute video, that's right to the point, boom, boom, boom. People really get onto that. They dig watching your videos because you've got some value and they'll keep coming back. So in your marketing videos, when I mean marketing videos, I mean like a really quick message. For instance, I, um, I, I think that anyone that's starting off should really be doing a video a day, a blog post and a video a day, just to keep yourself in a rhythm. Cause what happens when you're doing your videos, guys, your message starts coming out and you get fluent with it. So your languaging gets better. I've got a lot of people say, why is it you can flow so quickly? Well, let me tell you when I first started doing videos, well, I still sink out of my, i toggle on my tongue all the time. I goof up. I don't know what I'm going to say, but guess what? I keep going. I let people see my realness, my goof ups. I mean, I, if you're real, people really dig that. So, but in the beginning, I, I would watch other people's videos and go, gosh, I wish I could be so authentic like them. See the authenticity in a video guys can be so true to people it shines right through your video. But I wasn't as authentic all the time. I used to almost was like I had a pitch. And guess what? You need to know, you're gonna be like that in the beginning too. You will be, and you're gonna look at your videos and go, I look so like, you know, coined and so structured. You will be that way. But as you're getting used to it and you're doing them more frequently, you will get better, okay? So your, your, your little mini marketing videos need to have a really quick message and to the point, hey, it's Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. Listen, today I want to share with you about being uh, on time in your, in your business all day or showing up in your business every day. When you show up every day, you deliver, you do this, right? I'm just giving a really quick uh, little video and then I say, guys, go out and be unstoppable. And then I'm going to talk with you in a minute about call to action because every uh, video has to also have a call to action, but your marketing messages need to be quick and they need to be tight. All right. And if you're doing a video series, you can, I'm going to show you how to structure a video series, but man, when you've got little marketing messages that people are just following, they love to see it. You're, you're going to create such a better following. You're going to get more people to your blog. Let's say you're directing people to your blog. And I'll talk to you about that too. Um, I love to bring people to my blog as much as let my blog do the work. So I always typically will bring people on over to, um, to our Unstoppable Family blog, and then it lets them poke around. But if you're doing little quick messages that have value every day, your followers and people are going are to continue to watch. And you're just going to have a much better feeling. You're going to be a better video shooter. Your message is going to come across better and people will relate to you better. And what happens, guys, is your brand will start coming out. See, 
all, my brand typically will come out in all my videos. It's just the way that I do. So people start following your message. Some of you guys might have a more of a marketing message. You know, I, I, I've um, worked with a lot of people. They're just flat out marketing messaging, man. They, they deliver on the marketing messages. I don't do nearly enough marketing messages or as much as they do, but that's their gig, right? They teach people how to be internet marketers. I don't really, I, I don't really want to teach you how to be an internet marketer. I know how to, but my brand is about teaching people how to create a life, right? And not a living. So ours is about living. It's about personal development. It's about inspiration. It's about getting out there and doing something. But I toss in marketing messages in and out, but my messages are really more about inspiration and, and getting out there and living your life. So people start following and they know my brand now. So you're going to start creating your brand through your messaging. And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're doing a video constantly every day because you're gonna start getting used to your own message and then it's gonna really start to flow. All right? Okay, so are we good on this so far? I wanna make sure you guys are there, rock on. You guys are like, woohoo! You're like, yeah, I'm nailing it. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome, you guys are good. Cool, cool. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to, if you have questions, just throw them up. I'll keep checking, okay? All right, so I wanna keep, I wanna make sure I can get as much in as I can for the end of this call. Okay, now let's move on to the second or the, well, actually the third most important thing because those th three things are so important. If you miss one, you blow it, <laughs> all right? So the last in the sequence of your video, the most important piece at the end is of course called the call to action. Now, the call to action in videos, guys, I have a little rule. Now, I have a big rule about the ratio, all right? I call this my three to one ratio. My three is my share, okay? My one is my sell. So let me break this down a bit because the call to action has a, I call it the soft call to action and the hard call to action, which is your one. So when you, let's say, when you are looking to build a list, create a following and get people to your blog, watching things that you have, if you are pitching every video, guess what? They're going to pitch off. They're going to take off. Because my rule is when we sell, we repel. <laughs> Nobody wants to be sold. They want to feel good. They want to connect. They want to know what you got going on. They want to relate to you. So when you're selling all the time, hammering stuff down people's throats, you're like, I got to take a breather from this guy. But when it's nicely set in the ratio, I call the three to one ratio, people love it. Same goes for your shares on Facebook. Same goes for your blog posts. Same goes for the videos that you shoot. Everything that you really do, guys, you need to be a human too. And sometimes I'm like, whoa, I'm a little heavy on the push, on the, on the pitch side. And then you just you know, put in a couple really like sweet pictures on Facebook or little things that you're doing, right? And then you can start offering again. But your three to one with video, I like to call this my three to one ratio, which is my three to one video sharing awesome, sweet, super yummy, attractive. Can I think of any more adjectives? Content. Okay. Great content. Every one of these videos still needs a call to action, but I like to call my three, my soft call to action, which would be something like this. I'm, here's my hook, right? I've got my, my, I'm doing my content. And then I might say, you know what? I'd love to invite you on over to my blog to see a lot more videos that I have just like this, right? So super soft. I'd like to invite you on over to my website. Go ahead and go take a look at my website, right? That just feels nice, okay? Now, let's look at the one. This is the pitch side, right? This is when you are really giving a video that's got some massive pitch to it. Well, you want to sell something. It doesn't have pitch. It's got point, okay? I like to say I don't shoot a video. I don't post. I don't do a blog post. I do them with purpose, okay? So when I'm posting for purpose, I'm doing something, right? Because people can fluff and play all day on Facebook. I am at Facebook to connect, to relate, and to do things on purpose most of the time. Other times I can play in fluff, but if you're here and you're an internet marketer and you're not using Facebook or video the way you should on purpose, you're missing the boat, right? This is working now, okay? So here's our hard call to action. So here's your one. You might have your one like, hey, this is Rhonda Swan from the Unstoppable Family. If you are looking to live the life like we are, travel the world, but not be locked to a job, well, I want to share something with you. I've been able to create or find a blueprint in a system that works for me that has allowed my family, right? Here I'm going. Do you see how I'm moving into it? 
hook something that they want, right? Which is solving a problem. And now here's my hard call to action. What I want you to do, I want you to click the link right below me. Go see the blueprint that we use every day to create this lifestyle. Flat out. I want you to do something, right? That's your one. Okay. So same thing with, you could be doing, I always try to use like uh, the industries that are on the call. So, um, or we could be like, Hey, it's Rhonda Swan. Do you love to travel like we do? I love to travel, but I also love to get traveling rates for a much lower discount than paying rack rates. Or maybe I would say something like that. Do you hate paying rack rates? So do we. The Unstoppable family has been traveling for four and a half years and we love to travel, but I also don't like to cook and I don't really like to clean. So I like to stay in amazing resorts. So what I want to do today is share with you this amazing program, this travel program that we use to get 90% off of Expedia and to allow our family to spend more money on our travels, not on our stays. So what I want you to do, I want you to go right below me. There's a hangout tonight. We're going to share with you exactly what that company is and what membership you can get to do that. Click the link below. Get there now, right? Full on. I am like selling, but it's kind of fun, right? Are you guys seeing the difference? Are you guys seeing the three to one difference? I'm going to check some questions over here. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Eddie just said, you have me sold right away with a cook and clean remark. See, see, this is the fun part, guys. When you get the idea, right, that you are asking a question or solving a problem that they have, you nailed it, right? Just like I do a lot of, you know, I talk to a lot of mothers, right, that want to be home with their kids, that don't want to put their kids in daycare, that want to, um, you know, be home. but I, I just recently did a video to women that was, look, I didn't want to be in a robe with the frazzled hair making breakfast. Well, I still might be in a robe, frazzled hair making breakfast, but I also want to be a woman with those empowered that can make my own money, right? Because there's women out there like that. All you guys are like that. So you talk to those people, right? I was, I, I've done a lot of corporate, um, um, corporate America videos because I was in corporate America. I'm like, you sick of your job? <laughs> you sick of corporate America or climbing the race? Me too. I had to get rid of that you know, uh, recreate my income by using this. See, you just start answering and solving problems and people hear those, they're on. So in your industry, right? Remember you talk to the person directly. Okay. I talk to moms. I talk into her. I, I look at a mom's eyes when I'm talking to her, like you guys, I'm visualizing all you guys sitting there tonight, like going, okay, what can I help them understand? So everything that we do guys, we got to talk to one person, just one. It doesn't even have to be a group. It could be one. And your videos need to talk to them directly. They need to answer the question, hook them, answer the question, solve a problem they might have, and share with them how to get more information. Okay? So here's our C to, let's, let's do our uh, CTA again. So we've got our three to one ratio. Soft CTA. Come on over to my blog. Check it out. Come on over to my website. Take a look. See more uh, about what I have. Check it, you know, take a look. Hard. Click the link below right now. Get started right now. Click I, or, uh, I have videos where I'll say, click the get access now button, right? Uh, on one of my pages, I've got a get instant access now. And I, I point <laughs> right to it. Hard call to action, okay? Nail it. You have to have it. Don't miss the hard call to action, okay? All right. You guys good? Are we good? You feeling this? Yeah? You guys getting some value today? Oh, yeah. I feel like you guys are giving me the virtual high five. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Okay. Rock on. Okay, cool. All right, now, now I want to hit you guys with what the video series is all about. And here's the structure. Guys, this works flat out. No arguments. Video structures work or video series work. And this is also how you start creating an, a following of people that really want to know what you have to say. So this is what we do. This is our video series structure. Typically, you can go for anywhere from one to 50 videos if you want, but I typically say four is a really nice, solid video uh, series. Okay, so what we do, you do a prep video. For, for instance, something like, hey, it's Rhonda Swan. You know, I'm going to be creating a, a, um, a video series for you this week. It's going to be really exciting. And this week, I'm going to talk to you about how you can travel the world just like my family does and be free and live and stay in exotic locations, right? Something like that. 
if it's travel, um, and say, so go on over to my blog, check a look. You can see all kinds of the fun stuff I do, but make sure you look out for my videos every single day here on Facebook. Okay. Or you might be sending it to your list, which I recommend you send it to all of them. I'm going to share the wheel, how I share all my stuff. So I keep myself in check every day. But that's your, your, it's a soft CTA, okay, on your first video. You're prepping them. You're letting them know what you're going to talk about. I think, um, oh, yeah, Victoria Oaks. I had a conversation with Victoria Oaks today, and she's preparing her video series. And she's like, I'm going to talk about, you know, about um, branding yourself, getting yourself out there, and then talk about products. So she's setting everyone up, okay? So when you prep them, they're ready. So now they're like, that's exactly what I want to know about. So now they're ready for that, all right? Soft CTA. The second video now, the second day, I would do them pretty consistently. Second day, soft CTA again, but it's content teaser, right? Now you're getting into what you're sharing, okay? It could be about whatever industry you've got. It could be about marketing, could, whatever it is, right? Whatever you're going to talk about, you put your content into this teaser. Now, remember, we're still sticking to the under two minute videos, okay? These video series are under two minutes until you start seeing that you're following, you're getting a big following. Then, of course, you can start extending them. But as a rule, stick to your under two minutes. So that means your, your content, you're going you're gonna to want to make sure you guys have your first 10 seconds hook, the last 10 seconds CTA. What does that leave us? Two minutes and 50 seconds or 40 seconds for, or I'm sorry, one minute and 40 seconds for content. That's a long time. You can get some sweet content in there for under that minute, that uh, amount of time. Second video, soft CTA. Go on over, guys, to my blog and take a look. Go, I'd love to have you come on over to my website and take a look at it, right? Just something soft. Or you can just prep them for tomorrow. Don't forget about tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to share with you and give them a little lead offer, an offer that leads up to what it's going to be. Right. So tomorrow I'm going to really show you guys how to save money on doing this or tomorrow. I'm really going to show you this blueprint that I've used or the one secret that I've learned that has allowed me to live a free life or allowed me to generate a six figure income. Right. That one secret. You don't tell them the secret. You just tell them you're going to tell them one. <laughs> All right. OK, so that's now we've got now we're hitting our lead up. Right. So we're doing another content in video three. We're offering them the lead up, right? And still a soft CTA, but we're getting ready to give them some more. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you the secret. Okay. Now you got to provide, right? You got to have something to give them. So now your last video is your solution. You create that burning desire that they got to ask you what it is, or they have to have what you have, right? It's so exciting. I need what you've got. Now we can do a hard CTA because you deserve it. You've worked hard enough. You've given them enough amazing content, guys. They deserve to be told what to do or to go and take some action. So your last one is like, look, you know, I've been telling you about the secret all week. Well, this is the secret. This is what I've used. And whatever your opportunity is, whatever your product is, whatever you're doing or selling, now you give it <laughs> and you tell them what it is. You actually give them some. This one, you probably could go a little bit longer than your two minute or three minute because now they're ready. Okay. You can give them a little bit more content. And then of course, nail it with a CTA hard one. Get down right now. All week I've been sharing with you this amazing way that I've been able to live this type of lifestyle. I want you now to experience it right below me. This is the link. It's going to, and you explain to them, this is going to take you on over to a video. Like I do um, typically like sales funnels a lot and I'll like bring people through. I was like, get over there right now. I want to show you exactly what it is. And then you're going to be taken over to the page where you're going to learn about that blueprint and you're going to be able to get started right now. Right? Flat out. These people need to be told what to do, right? We all like to be told what to do. What's next? Because when we leave them like, okay, have a great day. They're like, Come on, where's the wind? You took the wind right out of the sails, right? Because they wanted something from you. You deserve to offer them something now, all right? All right, you guys, <laughs> you tell I freaking love this so much. I get so excited. All right, yeah, everyone's like, you guys, you are crazy. Yep, yeah. hey, I admit it, we love it. See, I believe that the crazy ones are the only ones that are gonna change the world, right? So why not be crazy? <laughs> okay, you guys rock. All right, okay, so now I only got 15 minutes because I know everyone has calls at, at six o'clock Eastern, it seems like, or at uh, nine o'clock Eastern all the time. So I want to nail this for you guys. Okay. Now, remember I told you guys uh, about video and, and keeping the attraction, the excitement? Well, I'll tell you what, there's a much higher uh, watch rate when you are doing something behind you. Like right now, you have to kind of watch me here because you want to learn what I'm doing. 
but it's a little boring, right? Like, there's nothing behind me. I have my funny wood paneling here, my South Lake Tahoe house, hilarious, right? But there's not enough, enough going on. Walking, okay, I'm a big arm video gal. I know there's those cool sticks and Jerry loves those sticks and he's so good at it, but they're a little clinky and I don't always have them with me. Our iPhones now so amazing that they are such great HD. Half the time I do all my, my videos with my iPhone. Arm video. I rock out an arm video almost every day. Whether I show you guys or not, some of them aren't up to my par, but I do them every day. And the arm videos rule, okay? When you're walking, look at there's all kinds of stuff going on. If you ever notice, I do videos all the time when I'm walking through the mountains here and people walk by, I'm like, hey, sorry. Yeah, I know, I'm always talking to my phone. And I goof off with them. People love that in my videos. I get like hilarious comments because I'm like, I know, sorry, I'm the girl. And I'm like, so I'm not afraid to do it in front of people. Because guess what? When they see people walk by and you're like, hey, what's happening? You wave to them. Guess what that does? It shows your confidence, that shows your passion, that you don't really care what people think. Why should you, right? Leadership, bam, more leadership, okay? So walking, now driving a car, I know there's a lot of issues with that. People always get freaked out about me. I have gotten really good. I don't look at the, uh, at, the at the camera unless I'm stopped, but I will drive and I will hold my video and talk to people. I recommend in the beginning, have someone else hold it, okay? I, I mean, it's certainly I don't do those all the time, but they work. People really dig them. I've gotten a lot of comments on the driving videos because they're like, what the heck you're driving, right? And so, or so having someone holding the camera and videoing you, don't look at it, just drive. Cause it's like, you're, it's almost like you're, um, you're in thought, right? When you're not looking at a camera, it's like, so today I was really doing this. And it's like, you're thinking, right? It's a cool way to do it. Now, the third one is interviews. People Wow. Love interviews with other people. I know Jane Orlov, the Russian firecracker, if you guys know her. Jane's amazing. She's done so many interviews with, on her blog and that actually creates social, um, you get a lot of uh, social uh, awareness where people are just, they know where you are. They know you're doing things. You know, you're out there. Social proof. Thank you. I couldn't get my word out. But they also get to see that you're interviewing someone else. And even if it's you know, I, I've got some people I'm working with um, in my workshop and they're like, um, they're creating a whole a wellness workshop and they're interviewing different people, different, amazing people. That is such a great way to give value guys in a creative, great video series. And then of course, kids, Brenda Gagne, I don't know if she's on here tonight. Brenda rocked out the cutest, best video the other day with her kids. And it was so awesome. You guys, people love it and they goofed out. There was a blurb and a, a blue, a blipper or a blooper, whatever you call them, but people love it because it's real. Okay. Kids make all videos fun. <laughs> so I pimp out my kid a lot. I don't know if that's good, but Hey, we're a transparent family, right? Okay. Are we doing good guys? You guys get some good value right now. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yay. 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 Love that. You guys are awesome. Oh, good. Awesome. Eddie did her first video outside. She hit a bush. Perfect. <laughs> That's the best way, guys. I love it. And you got to keep it there, guys. You have to keep it. Okay, let's see. Does it work if you haven't had any success yet? Of course. Use other people's successes. Absolutely. But guys, it does work if you haven't had success because guess what? You are creating success. You're get, you, you have so much to offer. See, that's one thing people forget. They're like, wow, I need to talk to everyone and I need to be the guru. Not everyone's a guru. But I, I remember in the beginning, I would just, I was like, look, if I can find 10,000 people, even 5,000, even 100 people that like what I have to say, I have 100 by, that's a lot. So don't worry about trying to go after everyone. Talk to that one group, right? And that's why I love the branding stuff so much because when you're talking to that one person, that one group, you really know who they are, you, are, you can deliver your, your goods, what you've got to offer, right? You have value. You have experiences that I haven't had, right? And if you can share those experiences, when people start following you, and they're going to want to know what you got, okay? So yeah, absolutely. But certainly using other people's um, story. I have people that use my story. Anyone can download my story all day long, guys, and um, use it in your stuff. You can use it for anything. Just say, hey, wow, these are this is these are people that I work with because you do work with me because you're working with me right now, right? You, we work together. <laughs> And uh, you're allowed to use any of it because I really think it's valuable to other people to uh, really, you know, know that you know other leadership as well. Okay. So, all right, rock on. Now what I'm going to do, because I want to show you guys that last little secret too. It's on my Unstoppable Branding fan page, um, how to use the events, but I'll show you guys. Okay. This is my wheel. This is the Unstoppable Family's wheel. <laughs> I do this every day. All right. 
every day. Now, I don't overwhelm my list because I'm not a list blaster. I don't make my list nuts. I give my list value and um, I give them a little space. But this is how I do it. My centerpiece of my wheel hub is video, flat out YouTube videos. Uh, you know, certainly there's other you know, other platforms because some people don't like YouTube. I love it still. So I'm not, I don't change, but, um, I video. Okay. My hub is video. So this is how I work my wheel every day. I know what I'm doing every day. I get up, whatever I do, however I get that video shot. Here it is. Boom. Video. Then what I do is I create a blog post with my video. Okay. When I create the blog post with my video, now I have something to share because my objective is to get people to my blog. I want as many eyeballs at my blog as possible because if you have worked with me before, you'll know I have a rule. If I get people to my home, it's like inviting people to your party. They love coming to parties. They love coming to your home. My blog is like my home, my virtual home. People get there. It's total neutral. They don't feel like they're being sold. They get to your house. They come to your party. They have a drink. They listen, they poke around, they look at pictures. For me, a picture might be a, a, a banner on the side of my, my blog. There might be a tab that says something that they want to see. They start asking questions. It's neutral. So once they, they uh, click on, let's say, a banner, it takes them to one of my offers. And now they're open and willing to listen because I'm not telling them to do it. So I like people on my blog. So what I do, here's my video, boom, share it to my blog, create a blog post. I typically then will share it to my list. And what I do is I take that blog post, I take an image picture of my video, okay? I want to get clear for you guys. I take, a, I take a screenshot of the video that I just shot on YouTube. I take the screenshot. I put it in my email, okay? Put that screenshot video in my email. So I use Aweber, right? So I always have my branded banner at the top of all my emails. It's branded. They need to see it. They knew who it's coming from. I take a screenshot of the video I just took, plop it into my, my email. I click the link. I, I, I take the link from my blog post and link that image. Okay. You guys getting this? I want to make sure you're getting this. Image. And in Aweber, you can hit that image and link it to a link, right? I take the blog post link and link that image to my blog post. So if they hit the video because they think it's a video, bam, you're going to my blog post. Got it? They go to my website. Okay. Now in that email, I write usually half of my story that I shared on my blog post. Half. You guys know why? Because I want them to get over there to see the rest. So then what I do is say, you read more about this story or get the, to get the end of the story or or, or read more here, and I give them the link to that blog post, or watch the video on over on my blog, right? So now I talk that I, I shot a video today. It was an awesome video. This is what I talked about, and I give the story, but I go half, so that makes them go on over. I get massive traffic to my blog that way, and it keeps your your followers on your blog because I have people that get started working with me that have been following me for months and years. So remember, when we're creating this relationship, we can't just hammer them and sell it to them now. Some of them got to marinate. You're going to have those early adopters, people that, bam, I want it now. Then you're going to have those people that are late adapters and they're going to follow you. They want to trust you. They want to know who you are. But guys, your consistency will get them there. So, what I, so again, let's go for the wheel. Video, blog, email. Bring them to the blog. Share the blog post on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Now, there's something about Facebook that I have found. If I share my blog post to Facebook, I get less people reading or watching videos than I do if I upload either just the link for YouTube on the Facebook with a post or a directly upload it is the best to Facebook. So I do share my blog posts onto Facebook, but they don't get a lot of attention. I don't know why. <laughs> They just don't. So I do my whole wheel and then Facebook is a little bit special. <laughs> so I give a little more love to my Facebook people because that's where, they, that's where I hang out. That's where, you know, that's my water cooler. So I give them a little extra love and I do a longer blog post, sometimes a story post with an awesome 
gorgeous picture, right? That people love because you'll get a lot more views if you have a video or a picture than you will just type all day long, test it all day long. So the wheel, you guys getting this wheel, this is like some valuable, juicy stuff that I just gave you guys. <laughs> are you guys getting it? You guys liking this stuff? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. Let's see. Let's see if you guys have any questions. You guys are, you can tell I'm always like a complete goofball. So I'm glad you guys are liking it. <laughs> awesome. I got some hands up. Okay. Hey, Jerry Bauer. That's my man, Jerry. I was talking about you. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> Jerry's like one of my favorite internet marketers. He does video. He nails video. Okay. Now the wheel. All right. So I'm closing up the wheel and I was just going to show you guys a couple examples of this is, I always say, this is so funny, Jabril's, I think Jabril's in the line. We always go, this is not Justin Bieber traffic. This is real traffic. This is people that really clicked on our videos and they love our videos. But look, okay, so this one, 215, right? 49,000 hits. Always, 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 guys, here's just a little video tip. Always, immediately add in your description, have your call to action with your link right here. If it goes any farther, like this one was not the absolute best. It, I, We've gone through this. Link immediately because their people are now so used to clicking links right away. So click the, make sure you have it clickable. Has to say HTTP. Has to be clickable. Okay. Brian always says copy and paste it. Yeah. Okay. And so that's forty nine thousand views. That was you know that one's good. They love that one. That was a while ago. The two that I took that image. And then this one. Okay. Look, I didn't. We didn't have it right away on the top, but it's six minutes. People love this video. It's got, it's a, a lot, it cuts in and out. It's got a lot of different features. So it can be longer. Remember we talked about the editing. It can be longer. Okay. All right. Let's see here now. All right. Two minutes. I know we got something. Okay. I want to give you guys this like super secret thing. All right. Have you any of you guys used um, Facebook events to promote a call, a webinar, to promote anything? Have you guys used them? Because a lot of you guys came here tonight because of a Facebook event. Yeah. So. All right. If you haven't, you, sh you, you should to promote to your list. But what I'm going to show you, the trick I want to show you guys really quick, because I know we're at the end of the hour, is that there is a secret magic cheat code that will allow you to invite all of your friends in your list. Okay. Instead of clicking like mad, it, it, it allows you to, to uh, invite all of them. Now, I'm going to recommend you do not make your list nuts. Okay. Because the moment that you make your list nuts, is the moment they'll never go to your events, <laughs> and you're gonna you can get you can get uh, in Facebook jail. So you don't want to get in Facebook jail. We want to do it right, but this is how we do it. Okay, we go to uh, home. Okay, we go to home. You click on events. I'm not gonna do the it's whole thing. Six oh, there she is, my little sexy voice. And um, you click on over on events. Okay, and you guys will then see here. Here's all the events here. Right. See, look at awesome. We got all kinds of. Uh, different people putting events up and then you create you let's say you just create an event okay so this is how you create your event now I'm gonna show you guys you're gonna type everything in you're gonna do the whole the whole deal typing everything in and inviting uh, you can either invite uh, uh, allow public to see it or just have friends of your guests see it but this is what I want to show you guys really quick is this code okay because I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now is uh, oh, wait, we already invited my friends. Darn it. Let's see. I can't, I'm not going to have time to get the whole thing done. All right. So what I want you guys to do is you can, there's a way for you to invite all of the people on your list. And I can't show it right here because I, I know, but I, it's already top of the hour. So I, I, I don't want to close them out. Um, is, uh, all right, let's do it. Let's just do it. You guys are still here. Why not? Okay. So let's say happy birthday party, party, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yay. The details are come here. Make sure you're here. You know, tell them, give them the link. This is where they're going to go. That's exactly where the link is in, in the where. So in the make where. Make sure you have the link. The, it, right. The link needs to go exactly in the where. Okay. So now we're going to create it. So, all right. So now this is, this is the best part. What? What's up? Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to add, let's see. Uh, let me do, I'll just give my, you know, my blog right here. Just so I, because I want to show it to you guys really fast. Okay. So you guys can just see it. So I, you can use this code. All right. So now you've got your link here. Okay. Cause you guys can learn about how to create the event. Cause you want to, you're going to want to add a cool picture, right? You can do all kinds of great stuff. You add, add the event photo, tell them, give them some details where to go. But see, this is the secret place that I want you guys to see. Here's how you invite your friends, all of them at a time. So you're not clicking like a crazy person. Click, 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 right? 
there's a special code that I that you can Google, right? I have the code actually on my fan page. I'll show you guys. It's right here. I actually posted it. Oops. I posted it right here on my fan page. Come on. Load, 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 load. Come on, darn it. It's not letting me move off of here. I want to show you guys. I, I, I uh, found the code. I, I Googled special code here, but I'm going to give it to you right here. Okay. You guys can find that code on my fan page. It's not letting me open it right now. But what you do is you're now going to go to here, okay? You're gonna scroll down, and I give instructions on my Unstoppable Branding fan page how to do it, but I'm doing it really fast, I wanna show you. You scroll all the way down, literally all the way down, okay, until it goes to the very, 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 very end of all your friends. You take that special code, guys, and I'm not doing it here because I don't want it to, I'm not going to enter it because I don't want to invite everyone again. You enter this crazy code in. Make sure and, you're, make, just here's the thing. Make sure you scroll all the way down to the very end. Right, but you're not there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I just told everyone. Make sure you, you scroll all the way down to the very, very end. And once you do that, it's going to take every single person that's in your list and you're gonna be able to invite them using that code. And every single person will then be invited. Now, um, I, you guys can go to my fan page and get the code, but it's also right here. This is secret event code. And this is what you can Google. You can Google magic cheat code that automatically selects all your friends. You can find that code, it's all over Facebook. I didn't even know about it. And now we are able to invite everyone and use these codes. Now, the one thing that you guys, want to do is um, make sure that you are not blasting your list, right? The people on your list, you could absolutely make crazy <laughs> and you don't want to make them crazy. And you certainly don't want them to start flagging you and Facebook shutting you down. Okay. So really make sure that your events are really on purpose that people will attend because if people start attending them, then you'll be able to obviously see that it works, but you will then now have a massive list of people that want to come to your event, see what you have to offer and now start following you. And, you know, I even um, start doing these when I start doing video series, right, in my blog. Like I might set up a video series and then create an event that says come and watch my video series. So you can bring them also to your blog as well just to create more attention. So, guys, I hope you got tons of value tonight. I'm going to check on some questions here because I certainly always want to stay at the top of the hour and make sure people are uh, on point with their call. Yes, the call is recorded. And this is the secret that oh, I yeah. wanted to share because it says I will be joining you. Oh, as go, well. Brian. Okay. And so the forty, and that is the forty six hundred twenty five dollar uh, tip of the day, which took us basically eight yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, I told him that earlier this earlier in the call. You may have heard it, but that that tip alone. Hey, there's not a way. Hi. That tip alone generated, you know, a $4,600 day because one person said, wow, I'm coming to that. And they came to that and said, I'm in. So this is value. I'm almost, I'm almost done. Um, so guys, this is really powerful uh, way for you to entice people, right? To come and see what you have to offer, but you're inviting them. See, it's an event. You're not saying it's not a force. You're allowing someone to come. If someone likes it and it was a massive day. It took us literally eight minutes and sure enough, you know, over 4,600 bucks. So not a bad, not a bad day. Right. So uh, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I'd love to hear if you uh, got a lot of value out of this call. Um, I will be posting, uh, this always is on my Facebook um, or sorry, it's under my YouTube channel. Uh, unstoppable branding along with my Facebook unstoppable branding. Um, you can always find the recordings for this one, but I'd love to just know your comments and, and you know, if you guys got a lot of value out of it, you know, come back every Monday and I'll be sharing more and more good stuff. And, uh, I, uh, want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the good. So guys go out and guess what am I going to say? Go out and be unstoppable <laughs> and go shoot video right now today. All right, you guys rock. Thanks again. Have an awesome day. And again, be unstoppable. Cheers. All right. Ooh, you guys rock it. All right. Awesome. You guys are like, I got some great value. Yay. Good. I want to make sure I'm answering questions. So I know you guys are ready to leave, but I'm like, wait a minute. Where are you at? Make sure I got all the questions you guys. Oh, thank you. Rock on. Awesome. Thanks guys. I will post it up. Cheers. Have a great one.